My name is Medora Woods, and um, I had a number of careers in my lifetime. At the moment, I'm trained as a Jungian psychoanalyst, and um, I can describe myself as a ro roving, troublemaking grandmother. I'm Sarah Nettleton. I'm an architect and landscape designer in Minneapolis, Minnesota, <clears throat> with a practice that has a sustainable focus. I do a lot of custom homes for clients like this one that we're sitting in here and have 30 years of experience which has given me a lot of opportunity to decide what works and doesn't work. We met because I uh, wanted to do a garden in my then house which is a few uh, just a mile or so east of here and I asked a mutual friend of ours who's also an architect who he would recommend and he recommended Sarah and um, so we did first we did a garden and then we did another garden and then we became friends somewhere in there we became good friends and so when I bought a um, 50 year old summer cabin on the north shore of Lake Superior in the late 90s um, and knew I wanted to renovate it my first thought was Sarah so we've been working together ever since The beginning of a process of working with a new client is always one of an opportunity to build trust and it's a pretty big deal when a client comes and says, would you design my house for me? I always feel like that's a great honor to be asked to be that big a part of their life. So for this house, Medora and I had worked together, so that was a little different. Mm -hmm. But um, What was that like for you? The trust piece for me, and it's certainly turned up in many instances in this house is I have just had to say to myself I find the most creative people I can to work on the project and then I get out of the way and while it doesn't mean I don't express my preferences it means that um, I trust that even if I'm a little uncertain about something it's sometimes that that they're probably right and actually the three of us who became a design team Sally and I and the designer who had worked, we had worked together before. We almost, we had a consensus view of things and by and large almost every decision was made by consensus. But every once in a while there was a decision where two out of three outvoted the other one. <laughs> and any one of us could have been outvoted. Sometimes I was unvoted, outvoted, sometimes you were yeah, outvoted. I, outvoted. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I don't know, but it just worked. 